Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So what we do is, we, we assume and rightly so that ambient air is a mixture of both water vapor and other vapors I would say, which are dry. And then we say that mass of the air is going to be mass of the two components, dry air and wet air. Therefore, mass is equal to volume into density. Therefore, volume of air into density of air, this will be equal to the individual volumes of dry air and water vapor. So, now we apply the law. So, just take V A on that side, just take V A below. Right. Do you think I should derive this here or you will be able to understand? Generally, what do you feel? We can do it here also if you want. But I have taken lot of trouble to go step by step here so that you can understand how it is being derived. And once again, I am saying just observing it on the screen will not help you much. It is better that you also do it down, do it as we as we proceed. So, density of air, I just, I just divide by mu on both sides. And then what I will do is, I will take this VA inside. So, it will become VDA by VA times rho DA and v, VW times VA times rho VW. Then we apply those two laws. So, from there you can get the ratio of dry air volume to the total volume is equal to the pressure of dry air and total air. Similarly, the ratio of volume occupied by the water vapor upon total volume is equal to the ratio of pressures of pressure partial pressure of the water vapor divided by the total pressure of the whole system. These two equations come from application of the previous law. So, I will replace it there now. So, this VDA by VA, there is VDA by VA here. So, this will be replaced. So, I am just going to write this as PDA into rho DA plus PWV rho WV upon PS. Is this clear? We are just replacing, applying Dalton and uh, Amagat's law, we are able to get a relationship which relates ratio of partial volumes to ratio of partial pressures. So, that we put here and we get the expression for rho A. And going one step further, now the density of water vapor can be expressed as density of air into some relative density term called as R D, R D. Because density of water and density of air are fixed quantities at standard conditions. So, therefore, you can say that there is something called as a relative density and therefore, you can replace the, the expression rho of uh, water vapor by rho of dry air times R d water vapor, where R d is the relative density. The purpose of this is to use the numerical information that we have from atmosphere in arriving at the effect of humidity. So, what do you get if you do this? Please put in the expression and tell me. So, rho A is equal to P D A rho D A plus P V W rho V W, rho V W will become R D V R D V W rho D A. So, there will be two rho D A's, you can take it out. So, you will get rho A is equal to P D A plus P W V pressure of water vapor times R D V W and both terms have rho D A which comes outside. So, you have rho D A outside by P S, agreed? Okay. So, things will 
actually become crystal clear to you only when you read it when you go back home and when you derive it yourself. So, this expression rho a times this I am going to just copy and paste in the next slide. So, the first thing is the same expression. Now, looking further, P d a is the pressure or the partial pressure of the dry air that will be equal to the total pressure minus pressure of the water vapor, correct? That is how we define partial pressures. So, you can replace for that P d a there. So, rho air will become P s minus P w v plus P w v R d v w rho a by P s. And now, there is one more term which is common that is P w v, pressure of water vapor is also a common term in the two. So, you take it out and simplify the expression. Now, finally, we have to apply the simple relationship for any gas. So, P 1 is equal to rho 1 R T 1 and P 2 is equal to rho 2 R T 2, but this R is a universal gas constant. So, with that for any gas rho 1 can be taken as P 1 divided by P 2 okay? and if you, if you divide these two together you will knock off R, you will simply get the expression which says density at any condition is equal to density at any other condition with the pressure ratios and temperature ratios. So, that red bracket, the closing bracket should be after P w v. Mm -hmm. So, P s minus I take P v w common 1 minus R d. No, it is correct. There is a black one. We need one more bracket. We need one more bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is fine. We need another, we need another bracket here. There you go. So, applying this, now you this you should do yourself. I will not like to show it to you. So, what you do is replace rho d a, dry air density. So, rho 2 will be rho 0, sea level density. P 1 will be P 0, T 1 will be T 0 and sorry, uh, sorry, I am sorry, T 2, P 2 and rho 2 will be at sea level and P 1, T 1, rho 1 will be at for dry air. So, replace that in the expression and tell me what you get. Is this point clear? That using the universal gas law for two conditions, sea level condition and the condition at any operating altitude by taking a ratio. So, I want to replace this rho d a which is the density of the dry air by parameters about air which I know at sea level. So, therefore, rho d a will be equal to P s by P 0, T 0 by T a into rho 0, right. So, now substitute this value. So, this expression on the top, this expression, I want you to substitute rho d a with P s T 0, P 0, T a rho 0 here. You will notice there is a P s already in the denominator here, it will cancel out. And what will remain will be, it will become this, this term in the numerator divide by T a, P s will knock off and what will remain here will be T 0, P 0, rho 0, there you go. I have not knocked them yet, I have just written down as it is. So, all, all I have done is I have just copied and pasted the red block is the definition or the formula for rho, rho d a. And now you cancel and when you cancel you will get, you will get this expression if you cancel because T a will come on the denominator, P 
PS will cancel with the PS which is below. I have still not cancelled it. Now, PVW is the pressure of water vapor and that is called E in our terminology and PS will be cancelled. So, if you, if you replace it, you get now a slightly elegant formula for density of air. So, the density of air is the ambient pressure P s which is known to you because you are flying at some altitude minus a term because of the humidity. This is basically the pressure of the partial, the partial pressure of the of the water vapor inside divided by temperature of the ambient air under ISA conditions into T0, P0, rho 0. Now, interestingly, these T0, P0, rho 0 are constants. Okay. So, you can replace now these numbers by the numerical value of T0 which is 273.16 plus 288.13, P0 which is 101325 newton per meter square, rho 0 is 1.2256. If you multiply that, you get a constant. 0 0.003484 Kelvin by meter square second square Kelvin meter square Kelvin second square by meter square. So, you can put that in the expression. Secondly, this R d V w this is the relative density of water vapor with air. And this number can be measured by experiments as 0 0.6220. Density of water vapor as compared to the air, relative density is 62.2 percent. Okay. So, 1 minus Rd is 0 0.378. So, therefore, what you can do is you can replace it by another simple formula which only has known parameters. After all, when you are flying the airship at some altitude, what do you know? You know what is the ambient pressure, ambient temperature and this E value can be calculated by the law based on ambient temperature, correct? Any question? RdVW is basically the relative density. So, density of helium is x, density of air is y, ratio is constant at any altitude. It is just it is just a question of relative density, na? one relative to the other. So, against air, water vapor, both of them have some density, the relative density is constant. That constant value is 0.622. So, straight away you can now calculate. Sir, would that be the inside the pressure? Yes, sir. No, why should E be inside we the bracket? We didn't initially, but we didn't carry it. So it doesn't make sense to uh, subtract 0 0.378 from pressure, which will be higher value. It is point, yeah, you are right, it is 0 0.378 into E. Yeah, you are right, it's, I, I, you are right, it is 0 0.378 into E. So, it has to be brought inside because uh, let us see where we went wrong. PWB should come inside here and, and, and therefore, it will be there. Okay. Bracket is also missing, one more bracket is also missing. Okay. I will correct this, thanks, I will thank you for pointing out, I will correct this. So, then it is going to be this number which is a constant times P s minus 0.378 into E divided by T a. I think that I should correct immediately so that there is no confusion. Other things will take me some time.
good you are looking at it very carefully and critically that is good uh, when i when i type these formulae at that time i might have made mistakes in entering the data okay so now we are at the end of uh, that particular place where we can take care of the humidity directly so once again the e will go inside now let us see what happens if you ignore humidity we are doing all these calculations there must be some reason and if you if there is no substantial difference then there is no point in doing all these things so you will notice that the the value of e as you saw in the graph is very low at low altitude low temperatures and it becomes very high at high temperatures so this error will be actually more prominent only at high temperatures at low temperatures see the value of e is around 1700 and you are multiplying by 0.38 and subtracting from p p is 101325 so the amount that you minus is very small right? so you know it will not come out to be very different but let's just see so it's better to calculate the so now suppose i ignore the value of relative humidity which means i i just don't do this uh, reduction of 1 minus rd vw into e so i get rho as P S in by T A into T naught P naught by rho naught, and this constant. So the error in ignoring the humidity will be uh, just the change in the pressure upon actual ambient pressure times hundred. Okay, so you can just see it is going to be only point three four eight four times E upon P S. Okay. 